Hello, and thank you for watching this midweek, December 22nd weather update, brought to you by Agrible, the makers of Morning Farm Report. My name is Eric Snodgrass, and I'm a senior atmospheric scientist and co-founder of Agrible. Well, a low-pressure system is charging out of southeast Colorado and heading toward Wisconsin Tuesday through Thursday. A large sector of warm, moist, unstable air is forecast to return to the Mississippi and Ohio River valleys on strong southerly winds. Expect a surge of warm air in Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and points to the southeast of those states on Wednesday, as temperatures climb into the 60s as far north as northern Illinois, southern Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio. A cold front will pass through this area on Wednesday, serving as the trigger mechanism for thunderstorm development. This map shows the Storm Prediction Center's convective thunderstorm outlook, and they have enclosed a large region for a slight risk of severe thunderstorms. They are particularly concerned over northern Mississippi, Alabama, and western Tennessee. Wind shear in this system is ideal for the formation of rotating storms in the mid and lower Mississippi Valley. I am concerned over the potential development for tornadic thunderstorms, which are quite rare for this time of year. This map shows a variable called the significant tornado parameter, and values are high enough to raise the potential for storms that can produce tornadoes. I am not calling for a massive outbreak of tornadoes. I am simply trying to make you aware that the potential exists for severe storms on Wednesday. Well, in this animation of surface precipitation, I will rock back and forth so that we can pick out the timing of this event. For Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, we can see the model is bringing a significant round of showers and storms through the area starting midday and progressing through the evening on Wednesday. Points farther south appear to have storms early on Wednesday too, but also a second round later in the evening, and possibly again on Thursday, although not as severe. So we got to be watching this system over the next 24 to 36 hours to see how it evolves and where the main severe thunderstorms are going to be. Keep a close eye on the radar. Now, let's turn our attention much further into the future. Now, the weather system I mentioned in Monday's weather video, the position of the low pressure system is now much farther west than earlier forecast. You see, my initial concern on Monday was over the potential for an early morning ice event across Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio on the morning of Monday, December 28th. But the westward shift in the position of the low now brings much warmer air into this region, keeping most of this as rain. It will be a lot of rain, and this system still needs to be watched closely, because remember, it's still six days away from us now. But it appears that the biggest winter weather threat has now moved to Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and Iowa. If this forecast verifies, this could be a big snow event for those states. As I wrap up this midweek video, I want to look into the first week of January. This map is valid early in the morning on January 2nd and kind of typifies what I'm expecting to see as the first week of January arrives. Models have consistently returned the eastern half of the country toward more normal winter conditions. Following December's warmth, this will feel quite cool, especially in the south. However, as we would expect with El Nino, the northern tier of states stays warm, as does Canada. Well, as always, we at Agri will bring you the latest and best weather forecast information through our morning farm report so that you can efficiently plan your operations. We thank you for your attention and hope you look forward to our next weather video update. Thank you.